Misperception number two, what is the consequence of that? Well, I said, that's the victimization story you bought. Yeah, but that's when genetics control, but how about if epigenetics control biology? It changes the way we live on the planet. Why? Number one, it's the mind that controls the genes. You can create 30,000 variations of every gene in your body just by the way you're thinking. So that means you are the powerful one. You're the one that's shaping the genes. That you have personal mastery over your life. You're not a victim of forces outside of you. You are creating the life. You can create health and harmony when you understand the nature of the mind and how it works. Because that's where the power comes from. And then, unfortunately, I have to tell you this, this is, people don't want to hear this part, but the part is this. When you understand this new biology, then you understand the need for personal responsibility. Why? You are personally creating your life with your thoughts. And therefore, rather than blaming our issues on genes, family, environment, and all that other stuff, it really comes down that we are the ones that are personally responsible. Now this creates a problem for a lot of people because your whole life you were controlling it yourself. And people go back over their lives and they go, man, I don't want responsibility for that. There was so much sickness, illness, and so much rage, and so much problems. It had to be the genes. It's not me. And then I say, no, it's you. And then a lot of people say, I can't buy it. And what happens? Immediately, what do they provoke in their mind? Guilt, shame, victim, blame, and they start to say, I can't, I can't go back and own what I did in my life, so I'm not buying your new story. And now I'm going to tell you, guess what? The past is irrelevant. If you didn't have the knowledge of how it worked, there is no such word as blame, victim, gain, the shame, guilt. None of those words apply. If you didn't know how to drive the vehicle, I can't blame you if the vehicle doesn't work right. It's the driver education we need. So the reality is this, history is irrelevant, but the future is now yours. The future is when you understand how this works, now from today forward, you have responsibility. You have no responsibility in the past, you didn't have any awareness of how it worked. So now it's a change of the way we live in our world.